Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and we are doing history of English literature and in between I make different uh, videos on history of English literature and literary terms. So if you don't know about this thing, you can subscribe my channel and you can check out my videos on different topics of English literature. So complete English literature you can find on my channel. We are doing a uh, now renaissance period and the there are different topics again uh, in this topic renaissance so first uh, we are going to talk about drama this period marks the real beginning of english drama and uh, if we talk about the first work uh, first drama so it was nicolas udell's ralph royster doister published in 1553 and uh, this is first English comedy and it has five acts, a play in five acts. Next work, important work of the age was Grammar Girton's Needle and written in 1575 uh, by unknown writer. Forex Porex, better known as Garbaduck. Uh, it is also known as the name uh, Garbaduck, 1562. Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville wrote this uh, drama. And this is first time blank verse was used for dramatic purpose. First English tragedy and direct forerunner of kids, Spanish tragedy. Sometimes uh, the people consider Spanish tragedy first work, but uh, we can say officially Forex Forex is the first uh, tragedy. Now let's talk about flowering of Renaissance. And the age of Shakespeare, it is called. It is in between, it is considered in between 1558 to 1625. 1558 is the year when uh, Elizabeth accessed to her throne. And 1625 is the death of James I. The defeat of a Spanish Armada in 50, uh, 1588 established the Reformation as a fact. Now, Queen, some facts about Queen Elizabeth. If you don't know these things, uh, you should note down. Uh, Spencer's Gloriana was Queen Elizabeth and Raleigh's Cynthia was Queen Elizabeth and Shakespeare's Fair Vestal throned by the West. So different uh, writers, as you can see, Spencer's, Raleigh, Shakespeare or uh, others, they described or uh, used the, the figures and uh, they all represented Queen Elizabeth. Every breeze was dusty with the pollen of Greece, Rome and Italy and it was said about the age of Shakespeare because uh, knowledge was coming from these places, Rome, Italy and Greece. Now here are some important works we should remember from this period. Maulo's Tambourine was the most characteristic event and Machiavelli's Prince is the most important work during the Renaissance period and UPS by Lily and this was exercise of new kind of prose. So UPS by Lily uh, brought the term UPism in English literature. Arcadia by Sydney and Fairy Queen. These works fiction in order to expound an ideal of moral excellence and uh, they were they were related to reformation or you can say uh, they were bringing virtue in the people and describing things in detail about virtues. So these are the works. Uh, this way I will be uh, talking about different topics uh, daily on this channel. So if you have not subscribed this channel, you can subscribe this channel for more info. Daily you will get a video on history of English literature and terms and literary criticisms. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Good luck for your exams.